Indianapolis. He's not going to beat you up, he's just going to rock your comic world. Come on. Give me your wallet! Miss the snow. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Anybody do any traveling? Yeah. 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 Where'd you go? Somebody name some place. Myrtle Beach. Myrtle Beach. That's great. Myrtle Beach, right? I've actually got a couple shows in Chicago. Anybody ever been to Chicago? Got a town, right? Chicago is like a huge comedy town, right? And no matter what hole in the wall you do comedy in, right? They have intro music, right? Now I'm used to playing in back rooms at top floor places in Annapolis. <laughs> intro music, so it kind of threw me off, right? They were like, now coming to the stage, Tommy Simbazo! And I had like give like the cut sign, right? And I was like, holy shit, that was awesome. <laughs> and it got me thinking that more jobs should have intro music for whatever you're doing, right? Like if you're like a brain surgeon or whatever. Now we in the operating room, Dr. Hibbert! <laughs> <laughs> or ladies, your OBGYN. <laughs> I'ma slip a pinky in it, girl. <laughs> of course, that might actually be what happens at your. I have no idea what happens. For all I know, right, you ladies, you open the door. There's like a trail of rose petals leading up. There's soft jazz playing. Your doctor's wearing a silken bathrobe that comes in here and says, "The love doctor." <laughs> Oh, I didn't see you there. Please come in, make yourself uncomfortable. Because as a guy like we have no clue, it would be totally different if like if guys had to go to the gynecologist, right? Because like the doctor, there would be no like intro or whatever. Like the, the, it would come in, you'd come in like a WWF superstar. You'd hear like, no, it's wing exam room four, a graduate of Johns Hopkins University, weighing in at three hundred and twenty. has an 
say that without her keeping that one. What's that People here has an STD. <laughs> no couples, no relationships. Man. See, it's like, <laughs> but everyone here has had a bad relationship, right? Yeah. No, no one's here had a bad relationship. All right, good. I was afraid it was like a convention for people who married the first person ever had sex with. Like those people won the claw machine of life, like right off the bat. Oh, I banged him. He's the soulmate. I know why I just use a man's voice for that one too. <laughs> well, I guess we got a couple. <laughs> but I've, I've had, uh, let me, let, actually my, my time's running out. Let me just tell you one more. Uh, anyone here married? Yeah. There you go. You liar. So I'm not in a relationship, but I'm married. <laughs> I just recently moved in with my fiance. Someone's keeping it real. <laughs> what do you think you are? Mel Gibson? You can't keep it that real. <laughs> Back off a bit. <laughs> so, like, uh, I moved in with her. Now, and when, when you move in with a significant other, there's certain things that you have to let go of. Certain things you go, don't get, could, like what? Masturbation. <laughs> right? You can't just go sneak off whenever you want and tug one out. You, it, it, it becomes a covert op. Like, you become snake plissken, and it's escape from your penis. Right, so one day I got home early from work, and uh, my fiance wasn't there yet, and I was like, yeah, we're getting it on, right? So I run in, I run into the, and I'm like, I'm talking to him like, it's going to be like 12 rounds with Chuck Liddell. You ain't going to understand this crap alert. <laughs> so I go into the bathroom that only I use. We have two separate bathrooms, and there is this expensive bottle of lotion. Like sitting there, and I thought to myself, oh my god, that lovely woman knew that I was gonna want to masturbate and bought me the good lotion. Which you ladies are like, you son of a bitch. And you guys are like, that makes sense. I mean, I did take the trash out once, so there's something coming. So, I mean, I went to town, right? I went, like, it was dry. It was like Mike Tyson punch out going on in there. And I knew all the combos. <laughs> so, uh, when I'm done, I'm thinking to myself, I should probably put this lotion bottle away. But then I'm just like, nah, and just like threw it next to the bed, right? Not even thinking. And I go in to play some Call of Duty. Anybody here play Call of Duty? Yeah. yeah. You, well, for those who don't know and understand about internet games, there's a certain level of internet bravado that you have to portray on the internet. Because you have to tell these 12-year-olds that you're Pwning in their ass and be like, yeah, suck it, you little kid, yeah. Like, you gotta be like Uberman playing these kids, right? So I'm sitting there playing and we're in the lobby between games and everyone's just talking and everything. And I hear my fiance come home from work and the door's like, Bing. and she walks right into the bedroom. And then I hear, <gasps> she kicks open the door of the room and I'm sitting there with my headset like, <sighs> and she puts her face right here and she's like, you dirty son of a bitch, you use all that lotion, turn off. Like, man, I hate it when my mom does that. <laughs> <laughs> 